Hey people, it's me again. So anyways, um, I got a new camera, which is this 110 film camera. And the reason I got that is there's another 110 film camera behind me. It's an old Fisher Price uh, toy camera. And I tried using done with that and it it just didn't work and the the thing is the film country is just stuck and in the film advanced uh, little tab is stuck and so I can't really use it you know and I've been meaning to kind of uh, branch out into 110 film but 110 you know they don't the only company that like still makes like 110 is like Lomography you know as far as that goes, not really like any of the other companies, you know, because it's not really a well-known format. And not only that, um, I I forgot to mention that my dad also had a 110 camera that's like this, but it's just like uh, the Fisher Price camera where it doesn't really have the flash, except you have to buy like a flash cube and you have to attach it on the top like here. You know, in order for it to work, but with this one, it's like you do this, turn this on, and then you know, like this. So that's how that sort of thing works. But I don't know if like 110 film comes another kind of other um, ones like that. Yeah, because it can do, like, I think the ones that they have now was, like, it can do ISO 100 and 200, but not 400 yet, you know, and, or even 800, but I think in the past they probably was the case there, you know, but with this, uh, 35mm camera, here, this is just your basic point and shoot one, where it has like a, it has a little DX uh, things on it on on the the film chamber or whatever you call that part of it. You know this part where you insert the film, and then this part is where you where it's like the take up end of it. And then this one, I think it's it's the second one I have here. What happened with the first one, it was about, just about a month ago, we were going to go somewhere, and I took it with me, and uh, there was a bit of a traffic jam where mom had to stop the car, it went out of my hands, and then got banged around, and uh, the battery door on this one wouldn't close, and so I had to buy a new one as far as that goes so although there was another film camera that amazon sold that was also 35 millimeter format but it was uh one of those canons or i, I keep forgetting the other the other brand like it's nomita or, or one of those but it was one of those like those kind of cameras that you think of like the regular old SLR cameras. There was an SLR camera around here that um, one of my dad's old tenants had left, you know, and they for and they forgot to pick it pick it up, you know. And that's kind of like the case there. But it doesn't have the DX coatings, but it was one of those ones where it's you, you can't really change the aperture on it you know to, to the correct settings and all that you know but that one camera that they had for sale there was like you can change change it around to do like from like 50 or was it like ISO 25 then 50 then 100 then 200 and 400 and 
1500s and 3200 or something like that. I think that was like the maximum you could go up to was like 1600 or even 3200. But as far as with this camera, you can only do like 100, 200, or 400, and that's just about it. You know, and 400 is just good for like indoor use and all that. You know, and then 800 is a bit more for like if you wanted to take nighttime pictures and stuff like that and all that. And then like 1600 is something like even further than that. And then 3200 or something like further than that. But then 200 is like is good for a cloudy day. Some sometimes indoor pictures but it's not as like ideal for indoor pictures and then 100 is kind of only good for outdoor pictures yeah but as far as that goes I mean I don't I don't know if I really want to like uh, do my own developing as far as that goes there you know but then I have to like do that in the garage or do that in some other pl place and inside the house in order to do that, you know. And it kind of depends on like um, what um, what kind of development kit that I wanted to use, whether it's like Cinestill or Unicolor or or Arista or something like that, you know. And they all have like their own different forms of it, you know, and, and there are some of them, like, you know, that can do a variety of, of, um, uh, of C41 film, you know, about, and, and then there are some that, that, you know, it's like you can only do, like, C41 for C41, and, E6 for E6, and then uh, black and white for black and white. And I think they do still sell like E6 there, but it was like, there was like, um, the bigger problem was with E6, you know, is that it's just not that long of a melon there. And there was supposed to be like another format of film, but it was another development format. I forgot, it started with like a K, but they stopped doing that like 10 years ago because of you know what's like in front of me this yeah. and that's kind of like the case why um why film photography was on its way out because of that you know because then i can't remember one time that was about 20 years ago where my old best friend back then was saying like how uh, photography is like the dead, dead of the dodo, but that was right at the time when the when digital cameras were starting to become a thing. Yeah. So, as far as that goes, you know, the last time I actually took pictures on a film camera was about like 15 years ago. <laughs> as far as that goes. And any other pictures that I took of myself from then on were always on a phone. And it was always like on some sort of camera phone, you know, whether if it was, 